Toy Spot. We're going to be having a look at the McFarlane Toys Movie Maniacs Series 4 Candyman. This was a requested video. Uh, a couple of people have actually asked when I was going to do a Candyman, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Before I do a review on him, however, uh, as always, or every once in a while, I, uh, I'm drinking an energy drink. Today I'm drinking Monster Energy Assault. Um, I've already opened this up, and it has a... I'd say a hint of fruit punch. So if you enjoy the delicious flavor of fruit punch, uh, I would suggest get Monster Assault Energy. It's full of fruit punch goodness. <sighs> um, now that we've had a drink, or I've had a drink, if we get a closer look at the figure here. Now I apologize, unfortunately, there's a lot of light shining on this figure, so it's very reflective, but we'll get a good closer look at the figure once it's opened. Um, the packaging is very nice. On the top left corner we have Tony Todd as the Candyman here. Now this is depicted from Candyman 3 Day of the Dead. Um, Candyman really hasn't varied too much between the three movies that he's been in. Uh, there was Candyman, there was Candyman 2, uh, Farewell to the Flesh, and then there was Candyman 3 Day of the Dead. I think the only only two I really would watch is the first and second one. I couldn't couldn't get into the third one for some reason. Um, I don't know. Tony Todd might be too old to reprise his role, but it would be nice to see another Candyman movie. He is a rather interesting character. And then there we has there we have the poster for Candyman Three: Day of the Dead. We've got the eyes and then the bees. And on the back, the other characters in the wave is the T-1000, which I have done a review of, so if you guys want to see that, I just check out my older videos. There's the T-800, which I did not like at all. I don't know if you guys can make it out, but I just did not like the sculpt on this face. It looked like they they weren't sure how to sculpt Schwarzenegger's face, so anywhere where they wanted to make it look like Schwarzenegger, they instead just put the robot parts in there. I did not like that. And then we have the Candyman, and we've got uh, Evil Ash. We've got the uh, Jaws set, which I still have not acquired. And then we've got the Blair Witch. I had the Blair Witch, but I sold it. I kind of wish I had gotten this one back. But And then we've got the Freddy Krueger. We've got the Freddy Krueger there. So there we have the back of the package. Um, now, now that we've had a look at the Candyman in its box, why don't we have a look at Candyman loose? So, uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll be right back. Candyman. 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 Oh! Oh! I wasn't expecting that. Uh, so here we have the Candyman out of his package. I have to actually say, for how old this figure is, it's uh, it's sculpted really, really nice. Um, it's also the only way we're ever going to get a Candyman figure. They haven't released a Candyman figure uh, since this figure came out. Um, if we get a close look at what I believe to be a very close likeness to Tony Todd. I mean, the, uh, the sculpt on him is really, really nice. And then we've got his uh, jacket on here, his, uh, his long trench coat. In the movie, this would have been more like a fur at the top here. And uh, nice detailing on his hand. Now, the articulation is a bit limited for being that, of course, as a movie maniac, so it's very limited. There's articulation in his arm. There's articulation in this arm. Nothing uh, in the elbow. Uh, his hook doesn't even rotate. Oh, although his sleeve does rotate, so that's, that's a little nice. That's nice. And uh, there's articulation in his head. Although, uh, it looks like you're going to be a little hindered by the fact that there's a scarf on here. And there's articulation in his feet. Um, also, one, one added plus to the figure is the fact that this jacket is, is a uh, leather, and you can actually open it up. When you open it up... Yeah. Um, you get a nice, detailed, uh, open... Uh, chest area of the Candyman, and you got all the detailing on the ribs, you got the blood here, you got the organs, very, very nicely detailed, 
and then uh, we've got a nice plethora of bees all floating in his uh, in and out of his uh, lung area there. Really, really nice. I mean, you can't really make out that they're bees, but if you've seen the movie, you know you know it's bees. Um, yeah, so uh, I think display-wise, it, it looks nicer with the jacket closed. Like that. Um, I, I suppose you could have the jacket open. I just think it looks nicer like that. And give you a, guys a back shot here. Really, really nice figure. Uh, probably one of the... F now, here's the thing. Like, there's... Movie Maniacs, I don't think, has held up well to the test of time. Um, some of the older figures, like the Jason Voorhees, the Freddy Krueger, uh, even the Michael Myers, I think, have not stood up well compared to some of the newer uh, figures that have been released. Um, I would say, and I'm going to go on record by saying this, I would think this Tony Todd uh, Candyman, I think, holds up really, really well, and... Uh, I would even be surprised to see a Candyman figure done as well as this guy right here. Um, the only way they could probably improve this figure is to give him a little more articulation in the arms, in the head, uh, you know, stuff like that. But I mean, really, really nicely detailed. And the fact that he has the open uh, chest area with the bees, definitely, definitely good uh, high points from me. Um, I, I love this figure and... Uh, I'm, I'm glad to have now get, gotten him out of the packaging where he can be free, he can be liberated to strike fear into people. And uh, he, he's definitely going to sit on my shelf proudly with the other figures I have. Um, very, very happy with this figure. Thumbs up. There we have Movie Maniacs Series 4, Candyman. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.